Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Anel Tanner joins us today to preview the World Labyrinth Day. Anel, thank you for joining us on the Thanks. show. Thanks for having us. Of course. Well, first off, tell us a little bit about what a labyrinth is. Well, a labyrinth is a place where people can go for peace, for calmness. It's a place where mind and body and soul come together for an experience. It's a very calming place. It's usually a, it's one path. There's a difference in a maze and a labyrinth. A maze is to get you lost. A labyrinth is to help you find yourself. So there's one path. The only decision you have to make is to start the walk and then you just follow the path. That's excellent. And so you all have one at Rapids Regional Medical Center too. Tell me where that is so that if people don't know about it, they can go visit. Yes, it's it's open all day during the daylights, anytime. It's right next to the cancer center. If you face the cancer center, there's a, a courtyard to the left, and so the, the gate is right there off the parking lot. Um, so there's parking available, and it's just right, right downtown. Fantastic. And so what are some benefits that you have found by using the labyrinth? Well, it really helps with various issues. Sometimes you come with a, a concern, a decision to make, um, a thought, a gratitude. I've walked several times with, with gratitude. You, you start walking and there's like four R's that we say. One is remember, so you stand at the beginning of it and pause and remember, get your heart and mind coherent in, in sync with each other and, and calm and then release as you walk in and follow the path. It's a metaphor for life. So you have twists and turns. You think you get to the center and oh goodness, the path goes back out. <laughs> so um, and then when you get to the center, it's receive. So you're calm and listening for what message you might have. And then when you're ready, you can return. And then we also add one with reflect, where you could journal or just quietly think about, think about the walk and what happened with you on the walk. We're doing a, a World Labyrinth Day on May the 6th, which has been done annually, the first Saturday in May, for several years now, annually. And it's walk as one, at one. So it starts in Tasmania, Australia, at one, and at one, so there'll be people walking around the world. We had like over 35 countries last year. We probably will have 10,000 people that will be walking at that time with the, with the intention of peace. There's so many things chaotic in our life now in the world. All you have to do is listen to the news and you just know what's going on. And we often feel like there's nothing we can do, but there is. We can be peaceful within ourselves and radiate that peace out to the world. So that's what's gonna happen on May 6th. It'll start at one, wherever the country is, and rolling wave of peace all the way around the world, wow. ending in Hawaii at How? one so at one but you can walk anytime during the day right anytime it's world labyrinth day so that feeling of peace for the globe will be just intense for that day for peace that's fantastic it really is and you brought a few different examples too show me what you brought yeah this is the one that is going to be this is the labyrinth at Rapids. Okay. Rapids um, had, has a ma master labyrinth builder, Lars Hallett, who made this design. It's a short labyrinth. Uh, that's the picture of the labyrinth at Rapids. So um, it, it's the short, it's aligned, which means the entrance is aligned to the entrance of the center, and it has a heart space in it. Backwards. Uh, right there, the heart space. And uh, so you start at the beginning and just follow the path. You just go around. Now, there are different designs. This is a, a classical one. Uh, this is the oldest one. This will be um, one that was like 5,000 years old wow. from Greece. They found it on coins in Greece and on, on walls, this kind of thing. And then this is another one. So in, to participate in World Labyrinth Day, you can either walk the labyrinth or you can 
download a printed copy off uh, of the internet. You can go to worldlabyrinthday.org and find any of these that you can print off or you can use a handheld one. And, and um, so there are different ways to do it. If you want to walk with the group, you can. If, but if you have ball games or other things that you need to go to, you can do this at home or wherever you are traveling. That's fantastic. And that will be on Saturday. May the 6th. May 6th right. at 1 o'clock. At 1 o'clock, but all you can do it all day. So th there'll, there'll be uh, printed guidelines right as you walk in the labyrinth. There's a, a box right to the left, and you can pick up printed guidelines and follow those as you walk. If you've never walked a labyrinth or if you're familiar with the labyrinth, this is a great day to do it and have your piece added to, connected to everybody around the globe. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us a little bit about it and about the World Labyrinth Day. We appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Of we appreciate course. it. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.